and welcome to another video with Leslie. Uh, today I'm here for my Teach Me Tuesday tutorial and it's a quick little tip that um, I hope you guys will enjoy. It's um, something you guys might already know about but it's um, just something that I thought this would be a great tip for my Teach Me Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is in my uh, last one of my last videos um, on this project right here um, you seen where I had did um, this uh, seam binding here and I had stamped on it and I think it just adds a cute little touch to your projects and I mean you could even you know since we all love to color our seam binding um, you could do it in different colors and then you could still have the ink um, you know show up through that through the coloring so um, what I'm going to do is, I know all of us have these dollar stamps that we have purchased from Michaels or Joann's or wherever that um, are the Studio G ones or ink, sometimes Ink It Ink It Do, um, but these little stamps that have these little tiny um, quotes or sayings or you know things like that on it. These are the perfect size stamps for this to stamp on your um, seam binding. So um, and these are actually the ones I use for this project are, are actually on this one of these sets I believe. Um, so this here is my Valentine's Day stamps that I have. So, I figured with Valentine's Day coming up here real soon that we would do a Valentine's Day stamp. Stamping. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is the um, Snow White seam binding that um, MB Treasuries to Carries. And, um, let's see. All we're going to do, and what you can do... Let me get something here real quick. I should have thought of that first. Sorry about that. Okay. Is my nonstick craft sheet. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do with this is we are going to take our ATG tape and we're going to just take and put down, yeah, just a line of this the ATG tape and then what you can do is just put your seam binding on it just like that so that'll help keep the seam binding down as we stamp on it okay so let me get my ink here um, I think I used memento last time uh, but I think I'm gonna try my stays on on this one so let's pick out a saying here um, let's see, this one's cute, I think. Yeah, this says, you make my heart flutter. So, let's do that one. We'll put it on our stamping block. Okay. And then we're just going to stamp on it, you know. Um, that way you can make your own, the specific sayings or whatever that you want you know and not just something that's already pre-manufactured so let's just stamp on it and it says you make my heart flutter and there you go let me let me zoom in here so you can see right there it says you make my heart flutter so you can make it say that again if you'd like the same thing like a repeating pattern you make my heart flutter. Okay, and then we'll just do it here also. Let me just get a scrap piece of paper here because it's going to go off the edge there. I wasn't thinking about that. So, here we go. So I don't wanna, since this stays on, I don't want it to um, mess up my cutting mat there. Okay, so you make my heart flutter. Okay, so you can make it have, say the same thing, or we can get another stamp block and we can make it say something else. Um, let's see, we can, 
Here's one that says hugs and kisses. So we can do that. And make it say hugs and kisses. I mean, you could, you know, make it say different ones all along. And that's kind of how I did on this project. I, I used three stamps, actually. I used My True Love, Always and Forever, and Sweetheart. And then I just repeated that pattern again. My True Love, um, Always and Forever, and Sweetheart. So... That is just a quick little tip worth mentioning to my subbies, um, you know, so you can um, make your own little ribbon there. And you could also, if you wanted, let's see, there's also, I have a, a cute little heart here with an arrow. I'm going to try that also. Okay, let me... Scoot this down a little bit here so you can see and as long as it'll fit on the seam binding any little stamp that you would want to use could be used on your seam binding so see there now you have uh, hugs and kisses hugs and kisses with a little arrow so I think that is a super cute idea make it individualize it to your project so um, that's my little Teach Me Tuesday tip for today, and I thank you guys for watching and subbing to my channel, and I think that's it. So you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.